I think I'm gonna have to give you up. I don't think I'm gonna be able to use you anymore for our game sessions, for our audio overlays, for anything like that. Um, you had your run, but I think we have a new player in town. Um, is there anything you would like to say? You will regret making that decision. <laughs> What up Techies and Gamers, it's your boy Jermaine. Welcome back to Tech Toys and Gaming. And in this video, I'm gonna review a microphone that is quite popular and it may help you improve your YouTube recording and streaming quality and capabilities. And not only is it gonna help you increase your quality, but it's also gonna be able to allow you to be able to allow you to. Why would I say that twice? That's like a double entendre, what? Not only is it gonna allow you to improve the audio quality of your videos, but it's also gonna allow you to do it at a very good price point, right? Very budgeted price point we're looking at. And that's essentially what we wanna do. We wanna be able to get good, decent hardware for our videos, for our gaming, for our streaming, and not have to bust your pockets wide open and not have to break your pockets wide open to do it, right? You wanna get best bang for your buck? Bunk, you bunk it. You wanna get best bang for your buck, right? Best return, best ROI on the money you invest on yourself. So let's see if um what I have to show you here today is gonna to help you do that. And the microphone we're gonna be looking at today is the Fifine K669B. Very popular microphone. Uh, if you looked it up on YouTube at any point, you'll see that there's quite a lot of reviews uh, dating back a year, two years ago. Um, but for the most part, all of the reviews I've seen regarding this microphone have been pretty positive, you know, especially for a microphone that's just coming in at about $35, 30 to 35, depending when you buy it. So from what I've been seeing, this is a pretty good bang for your buck, but, 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 why not test it out for yourself, right? People can tell you anything in the world, but unless you look at it for yourself, it's the only way you're gonna know that it works for you or not, right? Whether it's good or not, it's one thing, what people say is another thing, uh, whether it works for you, for your purposes, whole other thing. So. Let's take a look. And before we get started, I just want to thank the fine people at Fifine. They have actually uh, reached out to me and were willing to provide me with this mic for review. So thank you very much, Fifine Technology. Um, so I'm going to take it, unbiased review. I'm just going to test it, probably test it with a microphone that I've been using for my other recordings, my gameplay recording. And that microphone is the K-Mize condenser microphone. You can check it out right here. I'm showing it on the screen. Uh, it's basically another cardioid type of uh, condenser mic for basically for podcasting and for voiceovers, you know, they advertise it for gaming. So we're gonna see, uh, in my experience, that microphone hasn't worked out so well for me. I haven't used it much, but we're gonna put it side by side with this new Fifine microphone that I've just received. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing. And since we're paying tribute to the Mandalorian, might as well pay a little tribute to the Baby Yoda as well. <laughs> yeah, you can see I'm a Star Wars fan, but anyway, that's besides the point. Fifine, this is what we're looking at. Right, Five Fine technology comes in this cool little box, right? Five Fine, uh, not much in terms of uh, you know, graphics or uh, labeling or anything, but um, let's go ahead and open it up. Let's go ahead and uh, let the baby Yoda open it up, right? Let's see what we got. All right, so of course we have uh, paper, set of instructions. This is kind of cool, little. Uh, Flyer has their uh, website, Facebook page, contact information, email, all that good stuff. So in case you're interested, uh, of course, what is a hardware device connected by USB without uh, instructions? So it looks like it comes with a very nice setup manual here. Um, though I think there is not much in the way of setup as this is a plug and play device. It just installs drivers. There is no software to manage this so we're just gonna play like the average consumer plug it in and see how it works all right instructions little protection foam oh cool look at this let's take it out of box all right of course comes with a nice looks like a very long uh usb cable nice little protection cap here for the usb and a little mic stand mount screw hole what oh the mic stand is much smaller than i suspected anything else in the box before we move forward uh nope all right so here you have it mic and 
stand. This stand is quite small. I guess you just can open it up, snaps into place. It's meant to stand at your table. So I guess that's what is what it is with that. Um, but first impressions on the mic, um, the weight on this is pretty good. I like the weight. It feels substantial. It feels like something that's of high quality. Um, again, it's $30. Um, but the weight is very nice. This little metal mesh is also nice. This is also made of metal. This is a nice metal aluminum. And in here looks kind of like a uh, copper material. It may not be copper, but looks like it. Uh, and of course the, uh, the swivel joint, right? You can actually, uh, what is this? You can actually swivel it on this little joint here. I'm um, pretty cool. And it just comes with a singular uh, volume knob here. Singular volume knob, you can turn up and down. Kind of cool. And you can see that the diaphragm is facing in one direction. So if you wanted to speak into this, I guess you would have to be actually facing uh, the mic or the mic facing you, vice versa. Yeah, this is the mic. I do like that it is a matte metallic finish. This is very, very nice. Uh, has your little Fi Fine logo. Pretty cool. Um, but I, I, I like the feel of it. It's a nice weight. All right. So let's um go ahead and mount it on our little see how easy this is to do on our little uh, tripod. Okay, a lot of times I have to screw it in, <laughs> but fits in very nicely. Okay, you tie it to get on this little twist for tightening and open up the legs. What? This actually swivels on this little joint here as well. So if you wanted to face it a specific way, if you had it facing this way, you can have it facing that way. Or if you want to turn this way to face you, right? So basically you can swivel it on the tripod. You're not really restricted to just having to move the entire tripod. You can just turn the headpiece. Very good to have. Um, I don't know if you can actually tighten that. Um, yes, you can. So basically with the little, this piece right here rotates. So you can loosen it and tighten it so that it, when you tighten it, it will no longer swivel on that joint. You can actually twist it. It's very snug. Awesome sauce. Very nice looking, professional looking mic, right? Coming in at a hot $35. Um, but let's go ahead and plug it in and see what this bad boy sounds like. All right? This is the uh, total contents of the package. I am liking what I'm seeing so far. So let's go ahead and plug it in. Now, just as a preamble to all this, I'm using a lapel mic, right? This is what I use mostly for my headshot talk video sessions, so to speak. I find that it's good because it's close to my throat, my mouth. It gets the audio pretty good. Um, I can do very minimal of video audio editing with this microphone. So um, I, have to, I don't have to worry about me moving away from the mic. I'm close to it. Wherever I go, the mic goes. The only thing I would say about the lapel mic is that sometimes I'll do some crazy actions because I'm crazy and it'll get that little scratchy stuff. Right now I have it visible. Uh, a lot of times I just tuck it inside my shirt and I have it actually under my shirt. So it kind of does some noise canceling. Under my shirt. Under my shirt. And it does a little bit of some noise cancellation, but sometimes you get this, if I move too much, I gotta be careful, I get the ruffles. So not always the best of choices, but um, it is what it is. And some people just have it here, they have it visible, they don't care. As another preamble, I'm actually doing this recording utilizing my Camlink 4K. I just did a recent video, actually it was my last video, you guys can check that out. It's right there, just look at it, click it, and you'll see the full review. And I actually took that Camlink 4K and I compared it with one of those cheap 1080p capture cards and I give you the whole review and what my take on which one you should actually use. But I'm using the Camlink 4K right now, so that kind of tells you something, right? But now the good thing about this setup is that I actually made it so that I can actually do on the fly and listen to it as I'm doing it in real time, as opposed to just testing it and checking it out later than giving you a review. I'm gonna do it all in one shot with my headset connected to my PC. Camlink PC, I'm getting all the audio routed right through here. So I have my um, Fifine mic uh, up to about 20%, this 20% gain. So I don't know if you can actually see. I have it very low. It's very at a low level. So I'm gonna switch over and see what this sounds like. Uh, I don't know, I'm about I'm about a foot away from the mic. So let's see what that sounds like at 20% gain on the Fi Fine. So let's switch that out to bam, bam. And this is the Fi Fine at about a foot away. If you notice, 
it is it's sort of facing away let's put it exactly facing away so we can pick up some background noise right now i have my pc which is pretty close by and um i can kind of hear the fans going off on it uh, but if i kind of put it facing I kind of put it. if i kind of put it facing more towards behind it I can hear it a little less, but I can still hear it. And this is going without any kind of noise suppression. This is just raw audio. Um, I will say, uh, at least in through my earphone, my earphones, at least through my earphones, they um, it's a lot of hiss, right, going through that audio. Um, so you might have to do some um, compression with that to reduce that uh, hiss, the s sound. Um, but it does sound pretty decent to be honest, um, but this is just going at 20% gain on the mic. I have the audio full blast on my PC, 100%. But in OBS, I have the gain on the mic, on this mic at about 80%. Let's see what happens if I raise this gain on the mic to 50. All right, so woo, that's loud. Um, yeah, I can, I can hear every little sound that my mouth makes. That's kind of creepy. I don't want to hear me going, slapping my saliva. What? This is too loud. It's already popping, breaking at, uh, it's breaking the noise barrier. So now I'm going to start getting distortion because I'm in the red. So let's, um, I can either lower the gain on the mic or if I put the mic Further back, I get some echo, right? There's not a lot of um, foam cushions or any kind of noise canceling or noise absorption things in this room. So you will get some echo. Let's lean back, right? So I'm about three and a half feet away from the mic. And oh yeah, I could hear the echo. So you're probably going to get that with any mic you use. So just something to think about. Um, but if I... Put it close here. The audio, the bass is good. I can hear my diaphragm pulsating. What? But the bass is good. So let's um, let's bring that gain down a little bit. I'm finding that the gain is good, right about to the 25% mark, right? So if I really want to get the, not have to have the mic right here, 20% uh, is good. 20, 25% less than a foot away i would say you know eight inches ten inches away from your face pretty good sounding let's see what it sounds like very far away all right so i'm like four feet away from this mic <laughs> yeah so um i wouldn't imagine anyone would want to use this mic this far it's a usb uh desk audio device so no reason why you should want to use it seven feet away it captures all of my enunciations very well this is definitely um sounds a little bit better than this um in terms of uh, clarity this little lapel mic is a little muffled so this is definitely a little bit better let's do a little pop test right i'm gonna manage my gain at 20 percent we're gonna get up and close and personal and we're gonna do some peas pop pop because peter pipe oop <laughs> this thing is passing gas right now. I might have the gain a little too high. I don't know if it's because of my PC or because of OBS, but I'm going to lower the gain, the audio on my OBS to about 60%. And then we'll do a pop test. Peter Piper, pick the pop, 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 pop. If I decide to choose, you know, use a lot of words with P in it, and I want to go do a tiger uppercut with the popping pump, pop, what, pop? Punk, you're a punk, cyberpunk. So that diaphragm is pretty sensitive. Pop filter for sure, but otherwise, good sound and quality. I'm going to go to my OBS settings, and I'm going to apply a noise filter. So that noise you hear back there, a little bit of PC fan sound, we're going to try and get rid of it with a denoiser through OBS. So I'm going to click Add. We're going to use a noise suppression. Um, that will call it noise suppression. Just like that, you have noise suppression happening. Now, 
with noise depression, you'll find that sometimes you'll get some audio distortion. Sometimes you get a little bit of a robotic audio, even some parts of your audio where it's kind of peaks or it's kind of medium low. It'll just, you won't even hear it. It'll just create some transformer audio. But right now, this sounds great. That suppression is working heavily. Um, and I don't really notice too much distortion. You tell me, but in through the headphones, I can, it's, some a little bit difficult because I hear myself and then I hear the playback as well. But there you have it with some heavy noise suppression. Uh, but I'm going to get rid of that because what we're going to do at this point in time, let's get rid of that right now. Delete. Yes. Noise suppression. We're back to defaults. Okay. We're going to compare. We're going to compare this bad boy to my k condenser microphone as well. I'm back on my lapel mic. So right now, we're going to introduce this K-Mize condenser mic that I've been using before for my uh, audio overlays. Uh, not the best of mics that I've had in the past, but um, let's just take a look at it, why don't we? And here is the competitor. Ta-da, right? Now, just a little bit about this mic, just so you know where we're going into. Um, this mic does have a few functions on it itself. Um, it comes with... Hey, where's my thing? It did come with this cool little foam filter, so it kind of can act as a pop filter for your peas. Um, so, but this one did not. And you can just simply add it on there, take it off, however you want, whatever. We're going to try and use that on there, see if the pop filter works good. But this is the mic, right? A um, few features that comes on this mic. Um, obviously, it has a gain control. Now, odd and weird thing about this is it, can, it, it comes with... It comes with an echo feature, right? This echo volume button where you can actually create this echo effect. And I'll show you in a second. I don't know what I would use that for, I guess, for some kind of effect, a special effect. And your gain control. But the other cool thing about this that this mic does not have is that it has a mute button, right? So right now you can see that it's not on mute. If I press it, it goes red, green. So you can actually mute it on the fly if you're on the desk, so it's easy. Uh, functionality for muting. Um, it also has a headphone jack, so I can plug my headphones directly into it. So a lot more features in this Fifi mic, but what does the audio sound like? All of this means nothing if the quality is crappy. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to use it just like this, no filter whatsoever, just the way this is, right, to give it a fair comparison. So let's go ahead and switch over to this guy and see what we're working with. All right, I'm going to go to my OBS, mute my lapel. And now we're over at the K-Mize. Now, it is coming in a little low, so your mic would be oriented, let me tighten that up, directly up, right? It has all the other features as well. You can kind of tilt, monitor. It comes with its own little um, silver stand. Cool. Um, the only advantage this may have that I would prefer that this mic did have was that it's USB. I can disconnect the USB from here and reconnect it. Um, this one on the I find it's not it's all one cable so if this cable goes bad you're just done off you got to get a whole new mic uh, unless you want to get your soldering gun and start operating it now we'll see the gain on the five fine is a lot more sensitive this one here I actually have to turn it up significantly to get some good audio so right now I'm let's turn it all the way down I'm gonna down testing one two one two this is basically at 50% so I have this mic, I have this mic at 50% gain on the manual control of the mic. And on my OBS settings, I have it all the way to about 80% higher than I had it on this. So the diaphragm, you know, is, is, is I actually have to bump this up. This is 100%. So I have to kind of bump it up high. Do I hear the fans? I kind of, I do. I I can't tell if it's more obvious than in the K669B. Is that right? Yeah, the K669B. Um, I can't tell if the fan and the background noise is more obvious, more pronounced. Um, but I'll check that out after I'm you know, done with this. And you tell me which one sounds better. But this one doesn't sound too bad. Too, too. Still get that hiss. Then we then have we this have feature. That feature. Well, I can well, I sound, can like, sound I'm like I'm in a cave, cave and we're going through a warp zone and we're going to land. 
if I'm doing a podcast or a show about something, I don't know, Twilight Zone-ish, spacey, and I wanted to emphasize the death is coming. So yeah, definitely need a filter for this. Let's try it with a filter. Okay, so this is what it sounds like with this little foam filter. I don't know if Peter Piper picked the pepper popping much better. Um, I still feel like I have to lean into this at 100% everywhere. Um, my back, I'm leaning too much into it. I'm going to switch this little foam. Maybe it fits well on this mic. Let's see. And it does. So let's switch over. Maybe this will uh, make the difference. All right. Now I have just switched over to the Fifine mic. I can already see the quality is pretty good on this. Um, I, I don't. I don't feel like I have to lean too much into it. And if I did have to lean, I can just. I'm at twenty percent. So if I wanted to go back a little bit right here and just kind of talk low into the mic. Okay. So I'm at fifty percent, and I move back, and. This is actually sounding pretty impressive. Yeah, this is this is this is really good. All right, being able to talk at this distance is comforting, right? I don't have to be up on it. And if I really wanted to lean back, this will really I can just bump up the gain and it'll pick me up at a pretty good distance. Now I'm pretty far away talking low with the gain at about 90%. So there you have it, side-by-side -side comparison. Right now I'm using the Five Fine as an example just to finish off this video. <laughs> Why not? Uh, but that's the side-by-side -side comparison. Fee Fine with his K-Mize didn't intend to make it a comparison video, but just to give you frame of reference, right? Because you need this, you need to compare this to something else. So I think this is the microphone I'm going to actually go with with doing my audio overlays, my tutorials. I kind of like this. I'm going to try and pop this up on i'm gonna try to pop this i'm gonna pop this up on a mic stand and use it for one of my gameplay sessions and see what this sounds like right i have game control um and use a little bit of noise filtering the way i have it on now and we're gonna see what it sounds like sorry buddy um i think i'm gonna have to give you up i don't think i'm gonna be able to use you anymore for our game sessions for our audio overlays for anything like that um you had your run but i think we have a new player in town um, is there anything you would like to say? You will regret making that decision. <laughs> All right, so final thoughts. Um, I think I'm going to actually um, go ahead and continue using this mic. This quality sounds much better than the K-Mize, in my opinion. Um, especially when you apply that noise filter and you kill out all the background noise, it's pretty good. I threw on that little um, cushion, uh, pop filter. I guess it's kind of like a pop filter, a little foam uh, noise suppression. So expect to see me produce more videos with this K669B Fi-Fi mic. Um, I think it's really good bang for your buck, $35, right? You can't really get that kind of good quality at that price range. It's a fantastic mic if you're just using it to game on your PC, right? You have it sitting on your desk, if you have an arm or not, standing just like that on a tripod. The quality is really uh, pretty good for $30. You can take that and compare it to a $100 mic, $150 mic. You might not see much of a difference after you do the editing on your video after recording. You might want to consider this if you're on a budget and you want to produce, get good quality. This is a very good budget high quality microphone. So something to think about, definitely a choice. I'm gonna keep using this, Five Fine all day. Thank you, Five Fine people. Uh, you're a fine people. What? <laughs> all right, and that does it for this review. If you enjoyed it, you liked it, you found it informative, it helped you decide whether or not you're gonna go out and choose this microphone for your, you know, to level up your game, um, then go ahead and give it a like, subscribe, and go ahead and hit that bell notification so that way you know when I produce my next video. And I'll see you then. No, you will not see him in his next video. <laughs>